cleanliness is next to godliness in India. Shidanam Garupa, Shivoham Purity. Purity which brings knowledge, which brings light. The Yoga Sutra, they mention that Ashuddhi Kshari, Jnana Divtir, Aviveka Khyati. That's a sutra. That you have to remove Ashuddhi, impurities from your system. Then only knowledge is possible. Without that, no. And when knowledge comes, then you know what is right, what is wrong, which is worthless, which is worthwhile, and you move ahead in the right direction. So this Ashuddhi is to be understood thoroughly well. And here, first we talk about cross level, and so physical, so external. So we have to see that external things are clean and fine, where we have cleanliness. We have to see that our body externally is kept clean, so whenever you touch any dirty things, you should clean immediately. And for cleaning, these five elements are given to us in nature. Prakriti is made up of five elements. And water is meant for cleaning. Water's job is to clean. It could be hot or cold. It removes the dirt. And so whenever you touch any dirty things, you have to use water and see that you clean yourself. So naturally, when you touch anything external, which is unhygienic, and always I say that when you're going to touch money, money is most unclean. The way in which people handle money, the way in which money goes from one to another in hands of lakhs of people around, that whenever you touch of today, take this uh, decision in your mind that whenever you touch money, you will be washing your hands. Clean, for cleaning and water is what is required. External cleaning. Then we talk, in yoga we talk about internal cleaning. Here we talk about different organs, internal organs of our body. And the main organ they talk about is from mouth till the end. So mouth, throat, small intestine, large intestine. Now these it's stomach course to be washed. And for that certain kriyas are mentioned in yoga. So the mouth hygiene of course we all know, brush, clean, cleaning, the use of tongue, tongue cleaner uh, is most essential. Rubbing finger on your tongue is most essential to increase salivation. For cleaning stomach, drinking water, again you use water to clean all these things. So drink water and vomit it out. Woman Dorothy is explained. Small intestine, large intestine, we have things to churn our stomach, little muscular movements. But at yoga talks about these things. But here in this institute, we talk about yoga for householders. And householders have facility. Householders are not the recluse, sadhu sannyasis. Householders have facility. Householders, if they want to clean their system, what would they do? Fasting. So when you do fasting, not empty first fasting. Fasting with good amount of fibers, water, earth element, with earth element. So earth element means fruits. Eat sufficient amount of fruits, eat sufficient amount of boiled vegetable, and you will be cleaning your entire system. So water is there, fruits are there, boiled vegetables are there. It's saying they are, you clean your entire system. You need not churn, vomit or do any of these things. Because you have facility. And so now we need not do all these things which is mentioned later on. Small intestine, large intestine. That could be handled. The problem is not too much at body level. The problem is at mental level. Mentally we get very much unhygienic. And that's why such words like Chidananda, Dupam, Shivoha, when person is definitely having faith in high reality. And when you have faith in high reality, you would stop worrying, you would stop getting tense, you would stop getting upset, you would stop having likes, dislikes, whatever is there, you handle that. 
everything you like because everything is a creation of five elements and so you don't bring too much of strong opinion and strong likes this life if you have faith in high reality. And so mind also has to be handled and emotions have to be handled. And so at that level we have to work more. And householders again have facility to go above that level because they have to manage with others who are different samples, different personality, different nature, different habits. They have to handle them, householders, all the time. In one family you will find people shouting, in one family you will find people not talking only, people talking rudely, people playing politics, people uh, speaking lies all the time, hiding, speaking lies, people um, always showing that they are unhappy because others are not doing the job properly. You will find all such varieties in the same house. And householder has to deal with them day in and day out. And here this progress is very fast, very fast. Because either you learn to get into a mess with all that every day you say he is bad and this, he did this, he did that and get upset or you go about that. Bhoga, apavarga, yoga. Go, chalo, bhoga, magar se usse kuch seekho, move above that level. So they say no, a householder could either be uh, successful or he could become a philosopher where you can go above all these things. But he has to progress. There is no other path. You have to progress. Even if you don't want to progress, you will be progressing. That is householder's life. Because you are into the world, in the world, and you are managing the world. So, the point is very clear that understand the hygiene really well, cleanliness, physical, internal and cleanliness of mind. Then yoga talks about Nadi Shuddhi, nervous system. And nerves and have to be always calm, balanced and full of energy. Through nerves moves energy channels in our body. So nerves is again coming to mind. And so there is a technique in yoga called as Nadi Shuddhi. Nadi Shuddhi Pranayam, which is something which we have to definitely do every day, which is called as alternate breathing technique or low below pranayam. This technique specifically is mentioned for Nadi Shuddhi. That you automatically, when you feel you are getting disturbed, upset, tense, worry, start doing this breathing pranayam, alternate breathing technique calmly, and you will calm your nerves. So this should be part of your day-to-day -day routines and we should be following. Nature has given, nature is full of sun. So fire, energy through sun. So yogis believe a lot in sitting in sun. I remember all my family members, founders, yogi, mother, doctor, they, they would never miss sitting in sun. In the morning if they have time, fine, otherwise in the afternoon, I remember Dr. Gaiti used to sit in sun at 2.30, 3 o'clock because that's the time he will find time. So he would go on the terrace and sit in the sun and do his writing. The sun would be on his back. Don't remove your clothes on. With clothes on, one person should take sun rays. And with sun rays bring energy, bring strength bring purity. In our kitchen, when something goes little bad, you know, some insects have taken over, what do we do? We just put the thing in sun. Nowadays, of course, in the city, you hardly find sun. They can do much is over at the end. It is so obvious. Keep the things in sun. So, ye apne aap ko bhi dhoop pe rakna zaruri hai. Hygiene ke liye. So, ye chodi chodi cheeze hai. Little, little stuffs. But we have to see that we supply these things every day. Every day. Thoda samay dhukh vayt kura. 
and vitamin oral hygiene which is very important